record. There we go. Hello to the Yub Tubs. We are playing some Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. My first time playing it. Hopefully it's good. I think it will be. Uh, nothing seems to need changed here. That all looks okay to me. New game. The Mystery Machine Part 1, you say? You smell that salty sea air, Scoob? You know what that means, buddy. Yeah. Seafood. <laughs> Fried clams. Runa fish. Cracked crabs. Runa salad. Jumbo shrimp. Runa sushi. <laughs> All right, you two. Don't oh, forget shit. the real reason we're here. Go lobster bisque. Two things. One, the audio no, seems a little desync. We're here to solve uh, <laughs> That's not me. That's My it looks the same to me too. That's just the, the game fucked up. And I will turn sub subs on after after this. I didn't realize that was an option. And she could really use our help. Look, there she is now. Hey Holly. Hey Daphne. I'm subs so are always nice to have. Glad to hear. It. And you must be Freddy, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby Doo. Wow, oh, no, it's day. not that the audio is desynced, so it's that, Shire, I'll shut up so you can hear. Kept me up to date on all of your cases, so I figured my mystery would be right up your alley. Really? And what mystery is that? It's my uncle, the famous inventor, Professor Alexander Graham. He was just about to unveil some new top-secret invention when he disappeared without a trace. No one saw him leave Mystic Manor, and no one will help me search the premises. Don't tell me, because it's haunted, right? Yeah, Shaggy. How'd you know? Because it's always haunted. He's got a point, dude. Keepers. Don't worry, Holly. We'll help you look around. You said it, Daphne. We're not afraid. Right, gang? Wrong. Yeah. Like me and Scoob have seen this show before. You guys can go poking around scaring up some spooksters, but we're staying right here in the old mystery machine. Only ghost-free environments for us. Rip roast me is the way to be. Okay, you scaredy cats. Stay here if you want. Come on, guys. See you later. You know, Scoob, I could really go for a ruby snack. You read my mind, pal. Yeah, or maybe my stomach. <laughs> well, what do you know? Scooby snacks. Hey there, Scoob. Wait up. Leave some for me. Hmm. Don't mouse wishy here. Not fishy, pal. Scooby snacky. Raggy, wait! Gee, Scoob, it's not like they got your name all over them. Yeah, well, actually, they do. <laughs> Scooby-Doo! Raggy? Right on the road. Boom. I love how it's like an episode of Scooby-Doo, you know what I mean? Like, that's really cool. I appreciate that. Sorry, I just double checked like what because I do have a list and that's the one we actually want. Um, anyways, yeah, let's enable subtitles real quick. Let's do that first, and then Kappa Cow, what's up, man? Options, where, are you sure subtitles are an option? I don't see no subs, Rue. Continue. Uh, maybe only from the main menu. Can you save anywhere? No, okay, well, whenever we can save, we'll double check. We'll go to the main menu and double check. But no, what I was thinking while watching that cutscene would be really cool. If you guys have played the newer South Park games, how they were able to, like, 
I need more scoop 150 snacks. snacks. How they were able to, like, copy the animation from the show. It's a warp game. For the game. It'd be really cool if they did the same thing with Scooby-Doo, you know? Like, had it look like an actual up episode when you're running around and whatnot. I don't know how gameplay-wise it would really work, but it'd be really neat. Save successful. Okay. So, quick game. Yes. Because, like, I mean, for a 3D interpretation of it, this isn't bad at all. Options. Sound moon. I don't think uh, subs are a thing. I think you might be misremembering, Room. We have volume sliders. We have vibration on and on, on and off. And we have sound stereo mono. Unless I'm missing something here. Maybe it was only like the GameCube or... Yeah, yeah, that's what... Exactly. We're on the same wavelength. <laughs> yeah, it may be just the GameCube thing, sadly. It's hard to say. Same breeds so, out, yeah. <laughs> that's fine, though. I'll just have to remember to shut up whenever the cutscenes are playing, that's all. Is there any... Camera control? D-pad moves, left stick moves. Right stick doesn't do anything, oddly. No, I don't need anything, love. You're good. Playground. You say that, but I don't know where the playground is. Do we have to go to the warp gate? Sorry, I'm busy collecting Scooby snacks. I gotta get my snack on, you know? Let me just leave. Oh. Do it, they are needed. <laughs> We can jump. We can, like, run. Oh, I see. Oh, that's the Mystic Playground. That thing right there. That makes sense. Sure. Enter. I mean, the tutorial will probably tell us if we can control the camera, which would be <laughs> nice, you know? Hello, creepy-looking dude. Hello, Scooby. I will give you some tips on some of the things you will find around Mystic Manor. Make tracks, Scooby-Doo. You can run faster by holding the R1 button while moving. Jump by pressing X. Look for more of these clues to give you hints about the area you are in. Some doors will need a certain number of Scooby Snacks to open. I see why we need the Scooby Snacks. There are many spooky monsters around. If you get scared and lose a dog tag, eat some food. It will fill you back up. That's fair. Based off of Don Knotts, I'm not surprised. He did look a little Don Knotty, huh? Platforms like they will fall if you stand on them for too long. When you collect a monster token, you can see him in the Professor's Monster Gallery. That's nice, I guess. Ah! Okay. Hold on. Oh. Oh, those platforms. I thought they were talking about this. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Oh, you can double jump? Ah! I, I think double jumping might be something you unlock later. Because you can't... I can't double jump now. Okay. Can we, like, interact? Oh, you can grab things. Fancy. Okay. It just kind of automatically does it whenever you jump near something. That's good. Can we, like, do big jumps off of it? Not really. This is probably just going to tell us how to save. Yeah. Oh, okay. So their slides are a thing. Oh, I can't jump on that stuff. Beware of goop. Yeah, what is this? I thought it was just like a sandbox or something. Black sticky goop has turned up all over the place lately. The tar is very sticky and it keeps you from running or jumping when you stand in it. Good to know. How do I get... Ah! Warp gate. Use the map to warp between any of the other warp gates you have activated. Fast travel systems? Let's go, dude. I'm here for that. 
Oh. Oh, some of these things move, huh? Is it attached to a drone? It is. <laughs> and you can really swing on this thing, can't you? Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna make myself nauseous. Oh my god. How do we... I want to get all the Scooby snacks. Okay. It's fine. And then... Yeah. I got this. Okay, we're not gonna get that. All of those, I mean, because... I suck. Get a move on. So there's a and then, in the way. So I'm guessing what? ice rink. Yeah, okay. What are you, dog it's slippy. Or his voice sounds a little like Don Knotts now that uh, we hear it too. I wonder why his one line wasn't voice actor. That's weird. So like so many games, whenever you're on ice, the trick is just to jump constantly. Because you get normal control back when you're in the air. Like... It's weird they didn't give any camera control. Plus, what do you want from me? I'm a groundskeeper. Do I look like I got all the answers? If I did, do you think I'd be a groundskeeper? It's not, it's not exactly. Um, <laughs> it's Don Knotts, but I, I can see where they were going with it, though. It works. Okay, so where are we actually meant to be going first? I'm guessing just inside. 25 snacks. We got that. Oh, I missed snacks. I saw snacks out to the, the side over there. <sighs> Don not. Yes. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Hello? They're going to be like jump scares. I'm waiting for something just to, like, here? jump out at us. Need the key to unlock the door? Okay. Hello? I mean, that seems simple enough. Right. Hello? Is anyone out there? Kind of see up there a little bit. That's weird. Right. There's the jump scares. Hello? Is anyone okay, so out there? Jump. You need to find the Professor Springs invention before you can make this jump. Ow. Oh, the bat hurts us. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> Whoa. Thanks. Ollie. Oh, Scooby-Doo. I'm so glad you found me. Oh, it was just awful. As soon as we got inside the mansion, the mastermind appeared. He told us that he is behind my uncle's disappearance. Here, take this map. It'll help you get around a little easier. Map from the pause menu? Handy. Or not. <laughs> okay. I mean, we'll probably get used to that at some point, but like, it doesn't look that intuitive. You don't trust her? Yeah, probably for the best. So, can we interact? What if we, like, run into it? No? Okay. Clamor in the Manor, part two. You need the helmet. Ah, oh, so that's a thing? Okay. Mm, I don't know if jumping down there is the best idea. I like the paintings, man. Not on. Oh, God. I'm slow. <laughs> uh, not only like how they're like, you know, active, moving around and stuff is what I was trying to say, but also how they uh, are like little Easter eggs for previous episodes of Scooby-Doo. The Professor's Helmet invention to bash through these webs. Okay. Where and how do I get... Can I... Hmm. Nope, that just kills us. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm guessing there's nothing we can do in here then. Unless I'm missing something. To the wharf? Insert bad dog pun here. Uh. 
<laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, well, I know I missed some snacks outside, so I'm gonna go outside. I said go away. The doormat there, that's nice. I want the snacks, dude. Is this the wharf? No, that's the key. Or we need a key. Ghosts don't help me at all. Find me some zombies. They make good money. It's a warp day. How many did we need for this one? Oh, 150 we're snacks, almost please. there. Talk to him? Oh, does he have like new things to say? Other than what he says out loud? You heard of mad science, right? Well, I'm what you call a oh, mad groundskeeper. He has a thing? I can't talk to him right now. Oh wait, there we go. You just gotta stand in a specific where spot. The key is to the gate, huh? Well, so am I. I'm pretty sure it's buried around here somewhere, but you'll need a shovel. Here, take this and get to work. Why does <laughs> Why does Scooby need a shovel to dig? <laughs> you would think he would just be able to, like, you know, because he's a dog. Rudy. Damages. We got our health back that we lost from being dumb. Rudy. That's handy. Okay, it won't let us pick up health we don't need. That's nice. Oh, probably that flower in the middle of the walkway. That's my guess. Warm, getting warmer. Hot. No, now you're cold. What, what do you mean? I literally Freezing. picked it up. What are you? Uh, I'm just messing with you. I okay. Don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> God damn it. Smuggler's Cove. So we got a key for that. What is this way? Anything? Can we go back that way? No. That must be the direction we came in at. <laughs> I thought the game glitched, dude. Because, like, how it went into the cutscene, I was like, oh, God, does it think we're getting farther away from it for some reason? But, no. They got us. You again, eh? Well, this is the fishing village. Be careful not to fall in the water. I'll try. Looking for shortcuts? There ain't no shortcuts around here. Take the long way around and light. Beware of rats and crabs. Ooh. Oh, we need to, like, double jump. Not Don Knotts is definitely the villain. Oh, God. I'm so terrible. Yeah, you definitely can't trust not Don Knotts. Can we get... Oh, oh. Ah, man. Gasp. Kappa Cow, no spoilers. Hush. I don't, I don't think it's actually going to be not Don Knotts. Also, what's up, Optijack? Welcome, man. Time your jumps carefully around the flying fish. So it's Mario. I can I can do that. I'm decent at Mario. Right. Can we like Okay, we can get those. Can jump on top of small monsters to squash them. Was it? I didn't notice it if it was. Is there any reason to kill small monsters like rats? Other than just like, you know, getting them out of the way? Oh. Where, Scooby-Doo? You need one of the professor's invention to defeat larger monsters. Try sneaking past the monsters while they are asleep or not paying attention. Okay, hi. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> I didn't expect a freaking caveman to pop out from there. When you're low on health, they give you food. That's good to know. It's like, okay, not all of the time, I'm guessing. Oh, you bastard. Oh, son of a... 
<laughs> this is <laughs> this is some hard platforming, dude. Can we jump over to there? Aha! What are you? Are you bad? Hang on to the pelican for a shortcut back. Oh, okay. So we don't want to go that way now, but when we're done, maybe. <laughs> you don't want rat sandwiches? Sounds like a delicacy to me. Mm. Oh, hi, Shaggy. Like what's going on? It's blocked. It's blocked. Why it sure is. Come on, pal. Let me give you a hand or a leg. Throw me up onto that life preserver. Then you can swing from my legs to reach that crate. Okay, Raggy. That's cute. I like that. So far, I'd definitely say this one's better. Than the last one we played. Not that the last one we played was bad. I know what a rubber band feels like. <laughs> oh, wait, how do we? Oh, uh, we can only swing side to side. Okay. So how do we get? How do we get those Scooby snacks and that sandwich and stuff? I was thinking we'd be able to like swing in circles, but no. Oh, the springs, of course, of course. I'll catch up with you later. Just waiting for that thing to fall and just like smash us. Oh no, these things hurt. Okay. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> okay, this thing's bad. And they do count as large enemies. That's fine. Excuse me, snack me, please. Thank you. Looks like the tide's coming in. Watch your it's step. A warp day. How do we talk? Do you not want to talk to me, Dawn? That's, oh, th there we go. Looks like you need a little spring in your step. Look for one of the professor's inventions at the end of the wharf. You can use the door behind me to get it's to like that. Good luck. What is, is this like some sort of, maybe we need another invention to interact with it, but this looks like some sort of spring thing that should be able to launch us somewhere. Need a thing for that too. Need a thing for everything. Fear on the pier part two. Take this boat ride for a shortcut around the canary. Oh, is that just, it just takes us back. Okay, yeah. When it said a shortcut around, I thought maybe it would like, you know, like how the pelican said that we could ride it and collect stuff. And the way it said around, I was thinking maybe it would just like take us around the level or something like that. I don't know. I'm dumb. Don't mind me. Bikes, crabs. Well, we can't jump, so we can't go that way right now. Oh, no, you don't. That's gonna fall? No? Never mind. I was wrong. Oh, oh, ow, which way are you coming? <laughs> I like all of the, the remix Scooby Doo music too. That's nice. Bro, I'm legit, like, scared of this crab. I don't know which way he's gonna go. <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Just found the Professor Springs inventions. Now you can do a double jump by pressing X again after jumping. Yes, we will save. Uh, yeah, over it. That's fine. Double jump! Let's go! Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty high, too. And then, I guess, now we can jump in the goop? No, we can't jump in the goop. But maybe we can jump over the goop? Oh, come on. 
Not quite. Okay. At least not here. Yeah, you don't. Not yet, sadly. So it's coming then. Sooner or later. I want to know what gooed all over the place, dude. Is it like a, a massive Rummy. squid or something? Rummy. Tar, you think? What in tar nation? Y'all watch Rhett and Link? I just found out that Rhett and Link has a uh, solo band. Or not Rhett and Link, that <laughs> Rhett has a solo band. Button appears to be stuck. Come back after you find an invention that will let you bash it. Okay, so we can't just like jump from high up. You call that yeah, jumping? I was surprised. In my day, we had to jump over monsters twice as tall as that. In the snow. Both ways. Found the Professor Spring invention, did you? Those will come in handy back at the fountain where I met you. You need something for your feet to avoid sticking to the tar. Maybe the Professor has an invention for that, too. You can't get into the cannery until you've got some anti-sticky shoes. The oh, only shoot, dude. path is through the door behind you. Okay, so you can't even touch the ropes. Bruh. What? I, I look like I'm touching that to me, dude. I'm calling BS here. <laughs> Bro, okay. We're right on the shadow here. Yeah, nope. Where was the pelican at? It was around here somewhere, right? Okay, there's one. Now can we swing like any direction we want? No. Oh, we can jump off of it though. Oh, we're full. Just swing right there, but you can't jump on the... Oh, okay. Something for later. It's like Metroidvania, dude. And they gotta unlock abilities and then come back to levels to get to areas you couldn't before. It's a good mechanic. So how do we ride the pelican? Do we just hop on him? Where'd he go? There he is. So how do we how do we grab the stuff? Oh, shoot. Okay, he's going this way. It seems like we can't really miss the stuff. Yeah, because we can't really, like, control the pelican or anything like that. So that's fine. I'm okay with this. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Let's go. Give me stuff. Wait there? I hope you mean wait there, yeah, like, on. where the so pelican was, because... Because <laughs> otherwise I'm long gone for the bird. Okay, okay, good. I was worried that I screwed it up. This will come in handy with the fountain, he said. Oh, no, I don't need to save right now. Fountain. That's neat when you stand on top of it that it actually stops like spraying full height. We jump on top of the mystery machine, we can. That's cool. Go to my left? What, at the fountain? Or just keep going left. The key dude left? Am I blind? Oh, 
Oh, right there. <laughs> Look, man, you just gotta let me explore sometimes, okay? I'm dumb and I like, I don't know, jumping on fountains. On edge in the hedge. Aren't we always on edge? You jump on spiders? Yes. Gate appears to be open or to open from the other side. I'm pretty sure we can jump over that with these springs. Not gonna lie, but that's okay. We'll do as we're told. Oh sh! That thing moves. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'd rather not. You need the helmet power up to open this gate. Mm, okay. Oh, they just walk back and forth. They're not bad. We can deal with the werewolves. Oh, wait, we can dig these. It's just a sandwich. It's not particularly helpful right now. Okay. It's a <laughs> It's a rhombie. Excuse me, sir, you're in my way. Do you mind? What? BS. BS. Just go, go around the gate. There was a big, like, whatever. It's fine. What's down here? Is that a chicken leg? Some fried spider? We need the professor's plunger invention to make it up this ramp. Feel like you could. Feel like you could break that one, dude. Can't wait for you to see Shaggy and his lawnmower. Shaggy has a lawnmower? It's a ROM. <laughs> what the hell? Noodle, thank you for the five bits. Love, appreciate you. Oh, those hurt. I mean, it's. It's a boiling witch's brew. I guess I should have expected that. Ruby snacks. You need the soap for that one? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, for, for the witch's brew, you need soap? Okay. That's a weird one, man. Hello, Scooby-Doo. Here are two of the professor's invention, the slippers and the lampshade. Use the slippers to sneak quietly past monsters by holding the R2 button. You can use the lampshade to hide from monsters by holding the R2 button while standing still. Use your stuff to get past stuff. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I like this, man. No go. Ah! You can't hear me. <laughs> I'm wearing slippers. Yes, we'll need the plunger for that as well, I presume. I love the lampshade and slippers, man. That's perfect. Give me, give me snacks. Oh, you dickhole. Oh, no. Which way? Okay. This way. Flower first. I'm not positive we can even jump that high, so... Yeah. and doesn't look like it. Part two, three, part three. My back, dude. I didn't do anything to my back. It's just my arm that's messed up. Oh no, my back's hurting.
Why is Statue Cupid shooting arrows? You're a statue, bro. You're not supposed to be shooting stuff. That's mine. Thank you. Wait, what was it? Oh, it was R2. Okay. This gate appears to open from the other side. Why did it say that all the way down here? Oh, shoot. I do wish the little hints, like, disappeared after you collected them. Okay, he can still run into us, though. I'm assuming at some point there's going to be, like, a chase sequence or something. Or, like, a sequence where you have to sneak past them. Oh, there's a statue there. I'm an idiot. Oh, we can't use our slippers in here. Okay. Which means we can't go that way because we can't jump yet. Bro, you would put the sandwich right in front of the statue, wouldn't you? Lawn mower time. Ah, what's up, Shaggy? <gasps> that hurts. Hey, Scoob. Better hop on quick. This thing has a mind of its own. Okay, Shaggy. I'll literally hop on. Okay. Is he going to, like, clear us a path? No, he's just going to take us over it. That's fine. Ruby snacks. I was kind of hoping that, like... I don't know, the lawnmower would... Uh, okay. No, we missed stuff. Damn it. I didn't realize he was going to wait for us. We didn't actually need to hurry that much. Oh, God. And again. I will take that sandwich, please. Thank you, game. Oh, we slide on that when it gets down too low. That makes sense. Uh, that is fire. Why is there demon spawn in my Scooby-Doo game? Bastard. Uh, uh... Uh, shaggy? <laughs> okay. <Look> out, <laughs> we end up dying, dude. <laughs> in a Scooby-Doo game. Oh. Brother. Thank you. Come on, Scoob. Let's get going. Oh. I'm not positive Shag even has a driver's license, man. I mean, you don't need one to drive a mower, but... I don't know if I trust him driving either. I mean, he's literally driving through all those platforms back there. <laughs> like, through them, not under them. 150 snacks, we got that. And then some. One T classic Scooby Doo villains. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's out of control. It's driving itself. Wait, did that say we were nine percent done already? I'm assuming that means like we've collected nine percent of the stuff. I mean, I don't, I didn't expect the game to be, like, long or anything like that. You know, 3D platformers usually aren't super long. But I'm kind of surprised. We've only been playing the actual game for about 40 minutes now. Oh, 
Uh, what? Okay. Oh, dude. This place is dangerous. Okay. There's zombies everywhere. Um. Ow. How? How do I get up there? Oh, there's a thing here. I'm stupid. I didn't even see it. Can't see. Do we just take a leap of faith? Okay, yeah. We dead? No, we're still alive. Oh, now we're dead. <laughs> Does it take us back? Okay, yeah. Back to the start of the same level. Yeah, now we're 18. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, bruh. Cake? Yes, please. Excuse me. I am on top of this. I should be allowed over here. I beat your game. Ah, uh, garbage. Chicken legs. What's down here? We didn't actually go down this way last time. Anything? There's a witch. Okay, the witch is mean. Just leave her alone. So I'm assuming that's how we do the bash attack. The square thing. Because it doesn't actually seem to, like, make us go any faster than just using R1 does. I'm learning. Is it possible to make that jump? No, we must need something else to get over there. Run away, run away. <laughs> it's a mean greenhouse Scooby. Are right, dropping food? No. Ha, ah, get me now, Mr. Rombie. Oh, shoot. Uh, actually, can you go back? Yes. It's weird that the shadow under Scooby, like, disappears sometimes. Because, like, in 3D platformers, one of the reasons why they would have the shadows directly under the character like that is to help you gauge your jumps. So it's weird how it just, like, flickers in and out of existence. The game is definitely a little bit jank. We're also going to die again. That's not to say it's bad. Oh, God. Stop eating me. No, go away. I hate all of you bastards. They definitely went to the school of, like, old video game monster placement, you know? Some of this stuff is just off-screen, making it almost impossible to miss. Unless you already know it's there. Did it come out in early 2000s? You haven't even gotten to the boss fight yet? Ah, oh, there's boss fights? I mean, of course there is. It's an early 2000s game. Save, yes. I'm assuming you have infinite retries. Excuse me, sir. I want this, please. This is probably food. Yes. Okay, probably don't want to get hit by the tree branch. <laughs> Did a monster just fall out of the tree? That was cute. No, you 
What? <laughs> that one didn't hit me. Did I? Did I hit the tree branch? I didn't think I hit the tree branch. Some food heals more than others, you think? That's cool. It makes sense, too. Go away, go away, go away. I did? I legit didn't think I did, but I'll take your word for it. I got so lucky right there. I didn't even see that tree branch. The soapbox will replenish your soap bubbles when you find that invention. S what are what are soap bubbles? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Food. The cauldrons? Well, I know what it's for. I remember you telling me that, but what what do what do soap bubbles have to do with cauldrons though i guess is what i'm trying to figure out right that's what's not quite clicking in my head is this just food yeah just food we don't need it not yet I just want to watch Scooby-Doo now. I really need to get the original series. I have a bunch of the movies, but I don't have the original series. I think they have it on HBO Max, but I want to own it. Can I grab that? No, not yet. Maybe that's like to come back. You have two things for all three seasons for the original show? I have like a couple episodes that came on different DVD sets, but... I don't have the, the complete series of Scooby-Doo. I just have like, I don't know, eight of the movies or something like that. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure HBO Max has it all. I appreciate that though. Use the Super Smash to activate the stone switch and open the gates below. Okay, well, we don't have Super Smash yet. So this is a later thing. Just picked up a holiday collection of VHS from the thrift and tried to play it, and all the films ripped out. Aw, dude. That sucks. I don't really have a VHS collection. I'm sure, like, my mom has some of my VHSs from when I was a kid stored away somewhere. But I have a pretty large DVD slash Blu-ray collection. I have my own personal media server, so I prefer to just like buy Blu-rays or DVDs and then put them on my media server. I prefer that to using something like Netflix or HBO Max or whatever. I do have the subscription services too, mostly for Noodle, but... And then every once in a while there's shows we want to watch, like, uh... We've been watching South Park, and then Mike and Molly. There was something else on HBO Max that, I, that we were watching once upon a time. Oh, Game of Thrones. And then, like, uh, Paramount, we've been watching, uh... Or started to watch, rather, Twisted Metal. We've only watched the first episode so far, but it was enjoyable. I want to watch the rest of them. But, like, in general, though, I hardly ever use the subscription services. I really just watch YouTube, Twitch, and my own personal DVDs and Blu-rays that I own. <laughs> like, it's very rare that I actually get on Netflix or something. I do use Crunchyroll a bit, but... Hey, the helmet! Okay, I'm guessing we'll be able to bust open that box. Just found the professor's helmet invention. Now you can press square and dash through objects. Hey, let's go. Can we like dash through this? No. Can we take a shortcut down? Also, no. Can we bash through larger enemies? 
We can get wrecked, dude. You need to find cases for a lot of them so they're actually protected too. And a lot of DVDs, yeah. I used to, when I was younger, um, DVD, Blu-ray, and game cases, which especially annoys me now. Uh, <laughs> I found the cases to just be annoying. I Like, you know, because they took up more room. So I ended up just, uh, I would keep them, but I would just store them away somewhere. And then I had a binder that I kept all my games in. Well, after the house fire and everything, I lost... Internet? Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I get what you're saying. But after after my house fire that I had when I was younger, I, you know, lost all those cases and stuff. And now that I'm a little bit older, I understand the value of keeping stuff in their, in their case <laughs> with the manual if they came with one. A lot of games these days don't. Uh, but anyways, but I don't have them. So I have a bunch of Blu-rays, DVDs, and uh, video games with no cases, sadly. But the vast majority of games I buy these days, though, I try to get complete in box. So what does the monster token do? Ah, uh, we can view them somewhere. I, I vaguely remember now. Isn't there something else we could do in this level? Ooh, hidden area. Can we bash the witch? Get wrecked, witch. Oh, so you can't do, like, the monster choke and you're going to want to go back to the war. Oh, it's fine. We don't need to collect absolutely everything right now. It's likely we're going to end up putting this game on the list of games to complete. But we're not going to complete it tonight. So, <laughs> so we have plenty of time. And we, uh, oh, shoot. And we've started starting over whenever we uh, go to complete games. Because we never know, right? Like, I'm playing Scooby-Doo now. I'm going to put it on the list of games to complete. But it could be anywhere from, you know, a few weeks. Well, more than that, probably, because of Final Fantasy X. It could be anywhere from a couple months to, like, a year or two before we actually get around to it being drawn randomly to be completed and collecting enough votes to really even stand a chance. Okay, so we got the helmet now. Wasn't there somewhere else? Over here in the house. I don't know if this is the right place to go yet. Oh, it's just the monster gallery. This is what the tokens are used for, I think. So it might have been a little bit of a waste to come here, but it's fun. So that's, just, that's probably just the way out. Picture gallery? Must collect all snacks in another area down the Oh, so by collecting all snacks, you... I gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping there's no danger in here. Black Knight. Oh, where's the, where's the one we've collected then? Not the caveman dude. Not you. Not you. I remember these villains, but I don't remember, like, any other names. How long am I going to stream? Probably about 2.30. That's generally how late we go on the the night streams. Which one did we just collect? It was, like, the werewolf or something, right? Charlie the robot? I'm assuming the one, uh, there's red beard. I, okay, that one I don't recognize. I do not remember this one. Wolfman, thank you. Sea creature. Yeah, I do not. <laughs> I do not remember sea creature. Oh, I remember that one too. Maybe? <laughs> Goo Man? I don't remember his actual name. There's a witch. That looks like some Incan thing. Not. Who's afraid of the big bad werewolf? While camping, the gang stumbles onto an empty coffin. Trivia, Shaggy's ancestral home is located in what town? Salem. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Moonlight Castle in Austria. Bruh, yeah, I would not. <laughs> it has been... I was a uh, teenager the last time I actually saw... Like, the, the original Scooby-Doo TV show. 
Okay, so... Let's go back into Mystic Manor. Can we do anything in here now? Uh, I definitely, after I'm done streaming, I need to edit this a little bit or figure out the right save or something like that. Because it's definitely being cut off a little bit. How do I actually warp? I'm pressing X, it won't let me. Hmm. It's weird. Go to the spirals on the thing? Okay, hold on. We'll try. Okay, so Mystic Manor. Oh. Well, it says those ones aren't activated. I don't know, whatever. We'll just run back. Smuggler's Cove we should go to. Sea creature. Oh, man, that one. <laughs> like, all of the other ones look at least vaguely familiar. Maybe not that one, but <laughs> Sea Creature just, like, kills me. Red Beard, that's his name. I remember that one. I think I remember that one. I definitely remember that one. The Bat Dude. The, the robot dude that you named, uh, <laughs> the Jekyll and Hyde, what's, what's Frankenstein's monster? <laughs> Creeper, that's his name. <laughs> Caveman bro. <laughs> oh yeah, his name's literally just Caveman. The Sir Knight. <laughs> but Sea Creature and whatever that other one was, man. Gaggling Green Ghost. How many episodes was were there? of the original show. Black Knight, that's his name. I know there wasn't like a bunch of them, but like there's definitely longer series oh, no. these days, you know? Can we like, ooh, we can. Scooby Snacks? Yeah. Wait, did we just get hit by a crab? <laughs> Bro, we were we were doing the zoomies. Why why did the crab hurt us? I'm calling BS. Oh, it's the spring again. We still can't do anything with it though. Oh shoot, I kind of forgot about the fish. We got lucky there not to get hit. Wait, with the helmet? Oh, I missed a barrel? Where did I miss a barrel at? Ooh. There's also a Scooby Snack up there. Can I get that? Ruby Snacks! At the very beginning, seriously? Right. Oh, right here. My god. <laughs> you love being this game's expert. I'm guessing you've played it once or twice. But only once or twice. Right. Right. Smash the button? How do you smash the button? Oh. We dead. Oh, do you just like charge at it? We can't like. Yeah? Oh, okay. I thought you would have to do like a super slam on it or something like that. Was it this one? No. Ah, it was this one. Cake. Ooh. 
It's not doing anything, my guy. Distance, bro. I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's not doing anything. <laughs> if you have to do the other one first, I have no clue. So I thought you would have had to like super slam it because it looks like some sort of spring or something, right? It's too bad they don't have like shortcuts or something now that. Oh, wait, is he just. Is he not dead? There we go. Now he's dead. Anyways, now that we have the ability to like double jump and smash through things and whatnot, it would have been cool if there was uh, like shortcuts to help you get through the level quicker. Ugh, chat delay. I got it. You just got to have a little bit of faith, man. I'm not the best gamer, but like I'm okay. I'm decent at games. I don't think there's anything here we can really do anything with. Ugh, these things. Okay, well, you know what? I accept it. And jump. I will take it. And that one? Was that it? Was it just the two? I think so. Yeah. Beat it, Matt. You bother me. Wow, how rude. Okay, we can't charge through that. Wait. I didn't see the damn message. Give me the message. I hushed on. Through the door behind you. Button appears to be stuck. Come back if you find an adventure that will let you bash it. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Ghosts don't help me at all. Find me some zombies. They I don't think we can do it yet. Let's see if the warp will work now. Shock on the dock. Passages, basement. Warp to warp gate not activated. Um. Continue to mystery machine. We can warp to the mystery machine. That's fun. Oh yeah yeah yeah! I remember the cobwebs. In the mansion. You have to hit the circle button to activate them, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, wait. We can get the thingy up here now, too. Because we got the uh, double jump. Oh, wait. Can we go up top there now? Oh, we can just walk up. It looked like we might have been able to jump up. Let's go. Tokens for days. Thank you, thank you. Uh, can we jump back up here? Yes, just barely. Right. Oh shoot! Oh, he's dead now. And you, GG boys. Uh, magic carpet. Where do you take us? Why are you not moving? Right. Takes you to the token, don't bother, okay. Locked from the other side. Down we go then. 
Ooh, and this too. Wasn't there like this here? Yeah, secret passageway. Oh. So, oh, shoot. <laughs> is, there, is there anything else in the secret passageway? Like if we ride the carpets up? Ah, oh, Scooby Snacks. I mean, it's something. I'll accept it. And then we have the cobwebs in here to grab. Right. That's a headless specter. Right. Oh god, everything's coming to life now. Okay. Uh, I don't know which way's like the right way. Let's go this way first. Box, we can smash boxes. Ugh. Jesus Christ, dude. Random creatures coming out of nowhere. Excuse me, sir. Die. Take my helmet to your butt. Right. Oh, it's just a big circle. Okay. That's fine. That's fair. So the other one just had more stuff to collect. Oh boy. Is that gonna fall? Yes. A lot of these scores are trying to fall. What we really need to find is the kitchen, man. So Shaggy and Scooby can just ball out for a bit. Eat an entire weeks of food in one sitting. Oh, is it for real? <laughs> the next door? Oh. I was just thinking it because, you know, Scooby, Shaggy, that's, that's kind of their thing. Oh, you dick. Can I use your box to get up here, though? I can. What? Give me Scooby Snacks. Thank you. Are any of these, like, a secret Wahoo! switch if we pull on them? No. Okay, I really don't like the creature placement, man. <laughs> it's giving me Castlevania flashbacks and how much of a pain in the ass it was to beat that game. Kitchen? It is. Doesn't have a scene of Shaggy and Scooby just pigging out though, man. That's upsetting. I need to see like a six foot sandwich be devoured in one bite somehow. Definitely a missed opportunity, yes. <laughs> that should have been a thing. Um, <laughs> I thought that was like another passage we could go down or something. So wait, this one's got a pan on it, so can we just like... Okay. But I'm assuming this one will hurt us because of the... Oh, it doesn't just hurt us, it kills us. Okay. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. I mean, otherwise you could, you know, cheese the game. Was that like ice? <laughs> that little tiny bit? Oh, it's wet. It's water. Duh. Okay. Ooh. Secrets. I, excuse me? I will take snacks and chicken legs <laughs> from rats from the other side. My bad. Can we like collect one of these pans to go and put on that stove? Sadly, no. 
gotta be some way to get the key from that stove, though. The pans do fall, like, whenever we touch them. But none of them seem to, like, be over there. Hmm. <laughs> okay, just keep going forward, then. Assume that's a later thing. Oh! Well, shit, okay, that works. I thought we couldn't press those buttons yet. The entire floor is wet now. Like ice. Oh, well, that didn't last. Oh, shit. The flames came back on, too. Okay. Was not expecting that. Okay, so press button and then run. Give me key, thank you, and try not to die. Try not to die. Oh, this is a creepy room and a half. The voice clip they used for him, man. It's so unenthusiastic. The hitbox on whether you pick those things up or not is a wee bit broken. Surprised none of these bookcases down here open. So you just have two like back to back right here that do. Oh my god. <laughs> Why can I not? Jesus, dude. Dude was kicking our ass. I need snacks, please. 200 snacks? We got it, man. We got all kinds of snacks. Snacks for days. For a second, I thought maybe this was a boss area, but... No, I don't actually think it is. Uh, hold on. Don't shoot us yet. So you're dead. The ghosts are assholes. All of the creatures are assholes. Ooh, save, though. I'm gonna guess, like, 27%. Oh, it doesn't show us. <laughs> Duh. We jump over... Okay, well, that one's fine, at least. I doubt we can jump on, so I'm just going to go over. Oh, dude, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I feel like I probably got a bit lucky on it, but it went well for us. How oh, the fuck did you do that first try? Like I said, man, I may not be the best gamer, but I'm okay at games, you know? I'm not actually terrible. There's a button we can headbutt. What does the fan do, though? Can we, like, do we get blown upwards from it? Like a, a shortcut to skip the ghosts? Our head literally went through that Scooby snack. No more fog, of course. That makes sense. There's a carpet ahead. This carpet? What do you mean magic carpet? A flying one, a magic carpet, okay. I said go! Bro, what's with all the keys? Oh, we need to collect four? It's the creeper! Whoa! <laughs> Damn it, dude. Shaggy. Wait. Do we get to see one of Fred's traps? In the game? Do we get to like act as bait? Luring the the 
creature, ghost, monster, whatever into one of his traps? You think at the end? I hope so, man, because that's like perfect. Why is the floor slippy here? I mean, slippy floors don't really matter because you just jump. A lot of older games were like that. Because <laughs> you get the same control in air regardless of what the floor is like. So if you want control, predictability on, on ice levels, you just jump constantly. And problem solved, man. Instead of, you know, sliding all over the place like this. <laughs> this table gonna float yeah we're trapped right it's a headless specter right i think the hit detection in general is a little bit jank sometimes ruby snacks did you drop food by any chance no Oh, hi guys. I didn't expect this uh, secret passageway to be so filled with monsters. I mean, I guess they got to get around the, the mansion somehow. Secret passages are one of their favorite ways to do so. Are you dead? Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> <Right. laughs> the door just closed on our face. That wasn't nice. Right. Can we, like, just jump down here? We can. Because we didn't actually go, like, to the end of this hallway. Right. I just... Oh, shoot. I just saw the table and... The, the orb on it. The crystal. Oh shit, we can't even go this way. God damn it, well now I feel dumb for <laughs> jumping back down to the beginning. I thought we missed something, but no. I was tricked. Oh, you respawned? But just the witches. And both of them. That's weird. Uh, which way was it? This way. I don't know if we can get that, and I don't want to risk <laughs> having to start over from the bottom again. Not that it takes particularly long or anything, but just kind of a waste of time for just a monster token and a handful of snacks. Next level. Let's go, dude. But it's already 221. Holy shit. I mean, I'm feeling tired, but I didn't realize how late it was already. <laughs> Bust through that now. Look kind of like a uh, like a damaged wall, you know, like the kind you'd be able to. Blow up in a Legend of Zelda game. What just hit me? Oh, there's a ghost up there. Rude. I want that last cookie or Scooby snack. Sorry. Yeah, we should go to bed, dude. <laughs> yeah, we should, and we will. In, like, three minutes. <laughs> well, I'm going to end... But yeah, <laughs> I'm going to wind down in, like, three minutes. But I still got to change the dressing on my arm and do a little bit of work on the computer before I actually get to go to bed. Sadly. Can we make that jump? That looks... Bruh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what happened there? Why, why did it run away? Oh, I see we missed a cookie, but... So are we supposed to just jump, like, straight up? And not toward it? Why can't I grab it, man? Now it's just personal. Oh, bastard. 
didn't realize they went up just like on a timer. F's in chat, yeah. I think the problem is that I'm trying to double jump, no? Okay, there we go. Does it keep moving? Okay, yeah. Oh. Oh, there's a box here. I, that was empty. It Does it come back? I'm assuming it comes back. Okay, I'm hoping it comes back. <laughs> Game, hello? Here, we'll just be we'll just be a lamp. Oh, I think I hear it. Yeah, there it is. Uh grab it, please. Oh, bro. Whatever. Just a couple cookies. We can live without them. Gix! Oh, Scooby's portrait! It gets like sad and shit. Whenever he takes damage, that's a cute little detail. Is this an actual door? It is. Ow. Are we gonna slide down this? No, okay. Yeah, I just noticed. Like, I knew, you know, that he had a portrait up there. <laughs> but I didn't realize it actually, like, changed as we took damage and stuff. All Scares Upstairs. Part 1. What's the other one? I'm going to check to see what the other level was real quick and then... Okay. Does look a little spoopy. And then we're going to wind it down. Save Oh, shit, yeah. Well, hopefully the next one has a save area. If not, we'll run back around to here and, and then save. <laughs> at least we know where one's at. I mean, I'm probably never going to play this particular save again. Unless it takes us a really long time to play Scooby-Doo to completion. Otherwise, I might end up finishing it because we're, what, like 30-some percent of the way through the game? So, <laughs> that's like one day of me being bored. Rummy. Is there a save zone here? No. I didn't see what the name of this level was either. Oh! It's a headless specter! Cool, okay. So that was just I see, I see, I see, I see. It's just a uh quicker way around. A shortcut, if you will. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. See, I wish they would have put one of them in the uh, in the dock area. But I mean, they have the uh, the watch call it, so it's not that bad. The fast travel system, even if I don't understand how it works. Wait, damn it, dude! <laughs> we went the long way around. Whatever. Oh God. I forgot about this thing. I was, <laughs> I was like, ah, we can just go the normal way around. It's fine. It won't take us that much longer. Kind of forgot about this. <laughs> it's fine. We just don't get off it, man. Just stay on here and we'll be good. I see that box unwrecked down there and I just want to, I just want to get it now. You can really swing like wildly on that thing, man. Please don't die. Ooh, kick. Screw you. And then which way was it? It was this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This one. Uh, yes, save, please. Brandon Ferraro 92, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Save successful. I'm curious, just real quick before we end it here. I'm curious uh, what percentage we are actually, like, through the game. 
Does it say it on the pause menu or just on the save menu? Just on save menu. So I'm guessing like 39 to 40. Wait. Oh, it's not game completion. It's like level completion. That makes sense. That's why the number was going up so quickly. I thought <laughs> it seemed like we were getting through the game way too quickly, you know? That makes a lot more sense now, actually. Okay. Okay. I understand. Well, anyways, guys, thank you. I do appreciate you coming and hanging out with me while we tried out uh, Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. It's good. It has its problems, but I mean, it's also an old game, so you know. For a uh, Scooby-Doo game, a license game, in the early 2000s, it's really good. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow playing some Final Fantasy X, and then Tuesday we'll be picking up Morrowind for the first time after a couple of months. So that'll be a good way to uh, a good time, trying to figure out what the hell we're doing in that again. For those of you that can be there, I hope to see you there. For those of you that can't, I hope you have a good day. And until then, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.